Hello, this is Noga Hellman, creator of Upside Down Parenting, where parenting meets personal growth. And you are watching Monday Takeaway. Today's fun topic will help your children realize how special and irreplaceable you are, in case they forgot. And I'm going to let the timeless, classic little black dress to show the way. You bet there's a lot to learn from what is probably the best-selling item in the world, just behind the Bible. Back to our children. Have you noticed that kids get excited over things that feel special and different to them? It could be anything from a new toy or a high grade on their exam to a visit from a relative who they don't get to see very often. The keywords here are new, different, and change. And they're not the only ones. We all want change. We thrive on change and variety. That's what makes certain days and times feel more special than others. Now, we're not talking big change here. I'm also not going to suggest that you need to reinvent yourself. What I am going to show you is how to be totally and absolutely you with a fun twist that is both noticeable and refreshing. The little black dress, also known as LBD, is a perfect visual example for the subtle yet noticeable changes that I'm talking about. In fact, it's become a classic because it's so simple yet so versatile. You can dress it up or down and every time it appears new and interesting. That's exactly how we want to spice things up in our parenting, not by trying to impress our kids by being cool, but by understanding that being ourselves 1000% is what naturally makes us cool. So here are the three lessons I learned from the dress that still, after all these years, makes the fashion world go round, followed by three ways for you to put more of yourself out there so that your children will notice and appreciate. Lesson number one, be yourself when you're with your kids. Did you know that a little black dress needs to be as simple as possible for it to serve you for many years? If it looks like part of a trend, it will soon lose its charm and you will end up passing it down to your sister. The lesson for us mothers, always be yourself. As Oscar Wilde says, everyone else is already taken. You see, Contrary to what your children might be thinking, I believe that you are never old news and that what your daughter or son really want is for you to step up into who you really are so that they can look up to you like they did when they were younger. Lesson number two, accessorize throughout the day. The LVD is like a plain canvas that invites you to accessorize it in endless ways. Earrings, necklaces, and scarves, and pins, different color shoes, and hats, any combination goes as long as it makes the dress shine. If your home is anything like mine, then you're familiar with those days that feel like a copy-paste of the weeks that came before them. From our kids' perspective, it's wake up in the morning to say mo mother, giving us the look, get out the door, you'll be late, leave your sister alone. Instead of staying trapped in that reality, why not surprise our children every once in a while? I'm going to show you how to do just that with what you already have in just a moment. Let's move on to the third lesson. At home, think evolution, not revolution. Yes, the LBD is proof that the small variations on a theme sometimes make all the difference. Almost three years ago, just when I had my seventh child, LY, I felt that things were becoming more and more stagnant at home. In my desperation, I clipped the words make it fun out of a magazine and glue them to the side of my refrigerator where they are to this day. Back then I believed that my children needed a revolution with a capital R, but my energy level after the birth and my financial state didn't allow for big changes. So instead I went for some changes that didn't seem like much at the time. But it's been a few years and I still rely on these little tricks that I learned back then. So now let's talk about your home and see how all of this applies to you. We'll start with your talents. This is pretty basic. If you're good at making flower arrangements, then make one as a centerpiece for lunchtime. Get them involved, the kids. Tell them how you got started with uh, arranging flowers. If you love writing, write them special notes. Do you play the guitar? Then ask them to sit next to you and sing along. Think about uh, your formal education as well. So say you're a graphologist. Tell your kids some cool stuff about their handwriting. That's an easy one, right? Now let's take a look at your idiosyncrasies, something unusual about your behavior, also known as your shtick. You may be surprised to know that this is the type of thing that makes you really cool and awesome, two words that our children really like to use. 
Now, I'm not suggesting that you become your child's entertainment or that you overdo this. The idea is that you do only what you feel comfortable with and what brings you to life. We want the kids to laugh with you, not at you. So for example, I like coming up with silly rhymes. The other day, just as I was going out the door, I reminded the kids to keep it locked and it went like this. Don't open the door to anyone you don't know, ho, ho. This is a tiny fraction of what goes on here every day because I just go wild. And before you make a face, you should know I don't expect anyone to hire me as an actress or a poet. But I promise you that while my kids roll their eyes, they're also loving my shtick and look forward to the next one. Finally, it's time to air out your dreams and aspirations. Did you always want to be a dancer or a pop star and everyone gave you all the reasons why you don't belong on stage? Your kids don't care about any of that. They just want to see you dance and sing your heart out. Do you feel guilty that you're not the amazing chef that the kids next door got for a mother? Announce pancake night. And it's okay if you added salt instead of sugar. It's the intention that counts. And don't wait for the right opportunity to arise to do all these things. Your kids are eating lunch at the dining room table. That's the right time. They're taking a break on the couch. That's the right time. They're always in the room behind the closed door. Then knock on it and come in with your guitar. And now, I invite you to make this your own. Go to the comment section below and tell me, what felt special about your mother or father when you were growing up? And, what would you like your kids to know about you? Think of your talents, your shtick, something funny or goofy about you, and a dream or aspiration that only you know about. Your comments make a difference. Please write directly in the blog where we can all enjoy the conversation. If you were empowered and inspired by this video, make sure to go to UpsideDownParenting.com and leave your comment now. Do you know a mother who is experiencing a burnout in her relationship with her children? Do you have friends who desperately need to feel renewal in their parenting? If you do, share this link with them. And don't miss out on any of our valuable parenting tips. Subscribe to our mailing list on UpsideDownParenting.com. It's free. And until next time, Get curious about the parenting challenges that come your way because they are your custom-made opportunities to step into the mother that you are meant to be. <laughs> it's not a lot. What's going on with these bubbles? One more. Ooh.